because if you have an 88 fasting blood sugar, but your fasting insulin is 20, which a lot of fat people have, they right, have 20, exactly. 25, but they're like, hey, my fasting blood sugar is 88, I'm golden, right? The answer is no, because what your body is doing is having to pump out a bunch of insulin to attempt to bring down that blood sugar versus what if I wake up with a 105 fasting blood sugar, but my fasting insulin is a two. What that tells me is that transiently, my blood sugar is elevated for whatever reason. It could be stress. Right. It could be like I didn't sleep well that night. It could be that like, maybe I just ate a banana, you know, like I know that wouldn't be fasting, but my fasting insulin's a two. And what that tells me is that I'm insulin efficient, meaning that I introduce food, my pancreas pumps out insulin, it brings down my blood sugar, boom, the cycle's over. Versus like having this like roller coaster to where like the blood sugar's like sitting elevated. I don't know, I know people can get into it and then you could get even to like the A1C, which is the average over time. And I think the fasting insulin is much more important to look at because I don't really care what my fasting blood sugar is at all. And really even less so the A1C in relation to the fasting insulin, because that is what tells me how efficient is my body at using the insulin to bring it down and then clearing that and being done with it. So I think a lot of it's overblown because people will go gung-ho about their fasting blood sugar.